Welcome to our channel. We are sincerely trying to choose interesting stories, so we would really like to see your subscription. The burden of guilt weighs heavily on me. And while I'm not accustomed to sharing my darkest secrets online, I find myself compelled to do so, seeking an outlet. I'm grateful for the faceless readers providing this much-needed release. To provide context, my husband is an exceptional man, kind, understanding, hardworking, and loyal. He supports me in ways I never imagined, and for some inexplicable reason, he loves me deeply. About three weeks ago, I went out with friends to a local bar for what was supposed to be a low-key night of relaxation. However, it turned into the genesis of my profound regret. The bar had a dimly lit ambiance, with a mix of rustic and industrial decor. Amid the hum of chatter and occasional laughter, I sipped ween engaged in conversation with my friends. It was then that I noticed him, the man who would unwittingly become the focal point of my guilt. He sat at the far end of the bar, nursing a whiskey on the rocks. He possessed a magnetic presence effortlessly commanding attention. There was an aura about him, making you feel like the sole person in the room when he spoke to you. When our eyes met, a soft, alluring hazel gaze, I felt an inexplicable pull that I couldn't resist. As he approached, my heart pounded in my throat. He was tall with slightly disheveled dark hair that added to his rugged charm. His charming smile and enticing low voice asked if he could join us. My friends teased me, but their voices faded away. The evening that followed was filled with laughter, thrilling conversation, and an underlying tension that electrified the air. There was an irresistibly magnetic quality about him, drawing me in like a moth to a flame. Fully aware it could end in ruin, I made a flimsy excuse to my friends and found myself irresistibly drawn to him, like gravity pulling me in. It was a single night of weakness, a nondescript hotel room filled with passion, stolen glances, and hushed whispers. A night etched into my memory. Just as swiftly as he entered my life, he was gone, leaving behind a twisted knot of guilt and regret. When I returned home, my husband awaited me with a warm smile and loving eyes. The familiar look of love and cherishment only deepened my guilt. I mumbled something about being tired and retreated to our bedroom, unable to face him. Under the covers, my back turned to him, I struggled to steady my erratic heartbeat. My husband joined me, his arm around my waist in our usual nighttime ritual. As he stroked my arm with a soothing pattern, tears welled up in my eyes. Each loving touch felt like a knife through my heart. How did I end up betraying the man who had given me nothing but love and respect? Cheers began to trickle down, my face wetting the pillow below, but I refrained from making a sound, fearing he might hear my sobs. Instead, I lay there, silently crying, with him holding me close, oblivious to the betrayal his wife had committed. Each night follows the same pattern, a ritual of guilt. Tears and silent confessions whispered into the darkness. My heart is burdened with the weight of my secret. I feel trapped, torn between the desire to confess and the fear of hurting him, potentially shattering the trust we've meticulously built over the years. This guilt has become an ever-present companion, shadowing me during the day and transforming into a cruel whisper in the solitary hours of the night. It tarnishes every shared moment, every laugh, every kiss, I find it hard to look at him without envisioning the hurt my confession would cause, the inevitable disappointment and betrayal that would replace the love in his eyes. The man from the bar was charming and attractive, but he wasn't my husband. He didn't comfort me when I was upset, make me laugh when I was down, or know the contours of my soul like my husband does. It was a moment of temptation, a weakness that has now become my profound regret. That fleeting moment of thrill and desire wasn't worth the enduring pain and guilt I now carry. I'm confronted with an insurmountable dilemma. Do I shatter the heart of the man I love by revealing my betrayal? Or do I endure the silence and let this guilt consume me from within? I find myself caught in a storm of my own making, with no clear path in sight. This is my confession, my plea for advice and understanding. I am a woman who betrayed her husband and her own heart. I am a woman lost in a sea of guilt and regret, desperately seeking a way to make things right, to heal the wounds I've inflicted upon myself and unknowingly upon my husband. Update number one. 
In the aftermath of my confession, I was naive enough to believe that the worst part was over, that the guilt was the only demon I had to battle. I was so, so wrong. The man I thought was out of my life returned with a vengeance, leaving me feeling even more, feeling even more cornered and lost just days after sharing my story with all of you, he reappeared. The messages began innocently enough, a few texts, a couple of calls, but I deleted and blocked his number, hoping it would be the end. However, he was relentless, creating new profiles and accounts with different numbers to bypass the blocks. A bouquet of flowers arrived at my workplace one day, accompanied by a chilling note. His intentions were clear. One more night with him, and he would vanish, promising never to contact me again. Refusing, he subtly hinted, would lead to him revealing our past indiscretion to my husband. It felt like blackmail, and my world seemed to be closing in with guilt, fear, and confusion, overwhelming me. In my desperation, I gave in, deciding to meet him one more time in the hope of ending this relentless harassment. He had booked an upscale hotel suite, designed for a night of intense intimacy. It was a night filled with puppet-like motions, succumbing to his every command. Each touch and moment were painful reminders of my betrayal and weakness. False promises and hollow whispers echoed through the night, leaving me emptier than before. I hoped this night would buy my freedom from the never-ending torment. After it all, tears in my eyes, I told him it was over, to leave me alone. His unnerving smile persisted as he said, heavy your way, and I walked out the door. Now I find myself in a nerve-wracking state of uncertainty. He promised to leave me alone, to keep my husband unaware. Can I trust the man who blackmailed and manipulated me? I find myself constantly anxious, wondering if this nightmarish situation is finally coming to an end questioning if I've taken enough measures to safeguard my secret, and if he's genuinely out of my life now. The burden of guilt has become overwhelming, not just for the affair itself, but also for the actions I've taken to keep it hidden. As I pen down these words, a feeling of dread and uncertainty consumes me, and my world seems to hang by a thread. In a final update, I naively hoped things wouldn't worsen, praying that he would keep his word. However, my hopes were shattered when another bouquet of flowers arrived at my workplace, bringing my heart down. A note nestled among the petals revealed that he had betrayed his promise. Not only did he confess to the affair, but he also sent my husband a link to a video of our last encounter. Shocked and nauseated by the revelation, I crumpled the note in my fist and drove home, desperately wishing it was all a sick game. As I pulled into the driveway, my husband's car was there, and our home felt different. Walking into the living room, my heart raced, and I found my husband with swollen eyes, wearing an unreadable expression. It became evident that the man I cheated with was not just an opportunist. He was a monstrous, sadistic individual, deriving pleasure from destroying marriages. He used charm and manipulation in his sinister games. The truth had surfaced and my life was on the brink of collapse. I had fallen victim to manipulative individuals who found pleasure in causing pain, and I fell for their deception entirely. The room felt silent and heavy with tension as I entered, attempting to apologize and explain, but my husband's cold eyes halted me. He had seen the video and heard his side, but now he needed to hear the truth from me. Confessing every painful detail, I watched as my husband's face twisted in agony. In that moment, I realized I had lost him, the rock, the safe haven, the love of my life. He filed for divorce, unable to bear being in the same room, let alone the same house. The promise of forever love shattered, replaced by the harsh reality of betrayal. My life, our life together, was in ruins. The man I loved and respected now saw me as a cheater a traitor. I felt degraded, exposed by the nature of the video, and as I write this update, I am alone engulfed in regret. A sense of dread looms over me, and the consequences of my catastrophic decision have taken everything away. The house, once filled with warmth, now feels cold and empty without him. Our pictures on the walls serve as cruel reminders of a love lost and a trust broken. 
I've lost my husband, my partner, my best friend. The guilt and regret are overwhelming, a heavy burden I will carry for the rest of my life. My confession ends here, but the repercussions of my actions will linger indefinitely. I hope that sharing this serves as a stark reminder to others. One moment of weakness can lead to a lifetime of regret. Please, don't make the same mistakes I did. The story was painful and intense, especially for the husband. If he truly is as noble and good as she describes him, 